Hello everyone and welcome to my shulker box and ender chest guide. This is a follow up to the essential ender chest tutorial that I did on this channel some time ago. That video was all about the useful things you can put inside of an ender chest and ever since shulker boxes were added I've had a crazy amount of requests to make this video and finally we are here doing that. I'm going to be talking about all the things I think you should put inside your shulker boxes which are going to go into your ender chest and if we think about this we can now carry around 27 chest size inventories in a single ender chest. That is pretty crazy. Now I want you to imagine that this chest over here is actually an ender chest for a moment because this is how I told you to set it up in that previous tutorial and there are still some important things to consider from this tutorial even though most of these items will end up in shulker boxes. You should make sure either in a shulker box or in your ender chest that you have a silk touch pick so that you can pick back up an ender chest which I'd also recommend still keeping in the ender chest because when you're doing your projects you always want to plop down an ender chest and then you'll be moving over to somewhere else and you want to plop down one over there so it's always a good idea to have loads of these to hand. So the way this used to work was that we would have useful combinations of items available to us that could get us out of a pickle when we're building. Let's say you're short of a repeater, a hopper, or maybe even a piston. Well, with these four items, you can get your cobblestone, you can get oak planks and sticks, iron ingots, redstone dust, and then you can craft all of these sorts of things and many, many more, as this is just an example right there but of course the way the game is being played has changed now we're going to be thinking about carrying around stacks of each of these items with us because we have so much more storage space so we used to have to get really creative and do things like this instead of just having the oak in the ender chest we'd actually put in oak saplings and bones because that means we can get the oak we can also get leaf blocks if we use some iron to make shears we can get food from the apples and then we can even get wolves by taming them with the bones but as I've said <laughs> things have changed so over here we've got 22 shulker boxes not all of them are essential we're gonna go through them one by one and talk about what's in each of them the first thing I'd like to point out is that renaming your shulker boxes and color coding them is a great idea and trying to keep them in that same order even better because you're going to get used to seeing them laid out in this order. You can see that I've numbered them, I've given them all names as well and they're color coded to some extent as well and as you get used to seeing that pattern in your ender chest over and over again it just makes it easier for you to go I want something from this one, bam and away you go. You don't have to go through a whole bunch of shulker boxes that are the same color trying to figure out which one has the items you're looking for. So I highly recommend doing that and let's look inside of the first uh, shulker box. So one thing I want to point out is you're not going to see any stacks of items but it's always a good idea to keep a stack like a stack of buckets or anvils just because if you use one you've got plenty in reserve. Now this is the toolbox, probably the most essential of all. We've got an anvil, a shield, um, a silk touch pick, a fortune free pick as well. I've also got an axe in here with smite 5 which can be very useful in the nether for one hit killing a pigman. Make sure you critical hit them with that and that could help you uh, get out of a situation I guess and we've got one of each tool over here as well we have also got a bed for sleeping we've got our elytra for flying and we've also got frost walker boots which might be useful if you need to cross an ocean and you're not too keen on swimming then we've got the different types of buckets which are always good lava is especially great for taking on mobs uh, milk if you're in the never and you get withered we've got a stack of sponges some fire rockets well it's not a stack but it could be and shears and clock and compass and many useful different things of course there's probably more useful things you could cram into here but remember it's about what you find useful if you don't think a clock is useful don't put it in there you could have two stacks of firework rockets instead it's all up to you I just wanted to show you as many of the options as I could my second shulker box has three different types of items in food ender pearls and arrows and we could end the conversation there but I want to point out with loads of space you can carry around plenty of food so you won't run out for a long time. Plenty of ender pearls because they're always useful and tons of arrows in case you run out. But of course you can always go and put different types of arrows in as well. Different types of food if you really need it. Golden apples can be good if you're going cave in. And then even puffer fish or poisonous potato if for some reason you find those useful. But I just wanted to point it out that you can have lots of different types of food available. Number three is the valuables. In here I store ores, blocks and then ingots and diamonds and the like for the seven different types that we have here. 
pretty straightforward, right? We've got some shulker boxes as well, beacons, eyes of enders, and never stars. I keep speaking in plurals because, of course, I'd like to store things in stacks, but it's easier to see it when it's laid out like this. And there may be some things you think are more valuable than having shulker shells in there. It's about doing what you want, but I've put all of the valuables together in one spot so you know where they're going to be. Next up, we have light sources. So now we've got lots of the same item in multiple stacks. It's always useful to have lots of these. If you're a caver, you've got lots of torches. If you like to build, you've got your different lighting options. And I think that's all of the lights available. Maybe a lava bucket. Someone's probably going to point out I'm forgetting another light source. But we put them all in one place. It's color coded as well with yellow that it's bright. And that makes it nice and easy to grab a light source when you need one. Next up we have the redstone box. It's red, it's full of redstone related things including trap chests and regular chests for storage, slime blocks for moving around, string because those work with tripwire hooks and a whole bunch of other things in here as well that are entirely useful. Now some of these we've already seen in other chests as well. You may not want to put them in here if you just want them in your redstone chest. And an important thing to remember is if you're not a redstoner, you don't need this shulker box. If you're never going to be using this stuff, then don't even worry about it. But there are more items than the ones I put just in here. And depending on what type of redstoner you are, you may actually want multiple stacks of repeaters and comparators on hand. And of course, there's all sorts of other items that interact with redstone as well so it might also be advisable to have a second redstone chest as well as a primary one so earlier in the video we talked about having combinations of blocks to get you out of a pickle and this next chest might not seem like much of an essential one we got the different types of stone on hand however the cobblestone and of course you can smelt that but the stone as well are going to be useful for crafting other things as well so it's a good idea to have them somewhere but if you're not much of a builder or you don't like building with these blocks it's probably not a good idea to have an entire ender chest dedicated to them so a moment ago there wasn't this second shulker box here and that's because I realized this is definitely the sort of one you will probably want to have more than one shulker box of. And if you don't want to carry around a lot of these things you could probably put a few of these stones into this next one because it is the building blocks. You can see here lots of stone bricks and the variants, some regular bricks and mossy cobble. These are all the sorts of things you might want to build with. And of course there's more options than that. You've got your sandstone blocks, red sandstone as well. And because of that, there are actually lots of different options. And to get all of them, you're probably going to need two of these shulker boxes. And then again, you've got to ask yourself, what type of player are you? If you're just a, a regular builder, then maybe two shulker boxes would do it. If you like to build on a big scale, then you might want to carry around more than two stacks of each type of these block. Following up on our builder's blocks, we got more blocks you're probably going to build with. It's the clays. And of course, they've been renamed to terracotta, which is confusing for me. Uh, but we've got our glazed terracottas here, we've got some of the regular terracottas and if you wanted to store all of the colours of the glazed and the regular you wouldn't be able to do it in a single chest which is why I recommend having two shulker boxes if you like building with clay a lot. Again, if you don't like these blocks at all, don't put them in your shulker boxes. And now we have miscellaneous. This is where we put all sorts of items that didn't quite fit into other ones or maybe they could have fit into other ones but we didn't have room for them. So you can just take a moment to look at that. Some of these things will be useful for crafting other items like paper or maybe the leather. And some of them are just good to maybe have on hand for aesthetics. We've also got obsidian in here as well. Might be useful to make a nether portal. There's a lot of items in this game. So if you think I missed something that could go into the miscellaneous shulker box. Again, it's all about what you think is going to be useful for you when you are playing. This next one though is definitely essential. Always bring around bone mill. It's so useful I've dedicated an entire box to it and of course we can now build with these as well. So we've got nine of the different types of bone mill. That's great for growing trees. This is great for building and like I said earlier you could tame wolves with these bones. This next one might not be too useful to you if you're not into landscaping. It is grass and dirt. So you can see here, we've got some grass, we've got some dirt, coarse dirt. And then what do we have? Brown concrete powder. Well, this is about lumping things that are useful for landscaping together. And I've actually got some other chests dedicated to that as well. So maybe you would actually put in a few things like ferns and flowers in here as well. And the idea though is just to group those things together because that's what they're commonly useful for. And that other chest that I just mentioned is this one right here. Again, notice the color coding. We're putting green things together because in here we've got leaves and flowers and saplings. Again, with that bone mill, you can grow all the different types of trees. You can also get dyes from these. So highly recommend making sure you've got those 
and saplings in here as well and then that's not all of the flowers so you may actually want a second one of these as well which is why I've got another ender chest back there. These next two or maybe three we're going to all do together because in here we've got logs and I like to have lots of logs to hand I like to build the logs as well so I've dedicated one shulker box to all of those ones however you could mix them with some of the things in here as well we've got ones for planks and the slabs and the stairs and then you've got the fences you also got stuff like the fence gates and other things that you can make with the wood as well um, so that might call for a third one of these of course though you could mix the stuff that's in here with the logs if you wanted to so I'd recommend having between two or three for all of your wooden needs and now I'm starting to sound like a salesman I know Anyway, this next one is only really useful if you have an iron farm and it's for storing iron and many people have pointed out to me, why do you bother with the iron nuggets? I mean, you don't really need this for anything and it's kind of like a junk item. Yeah, I probably don't need that there, but hey, it makes the chest look nice and neat. This one is essential. It's a shulker box full of dyes and some of those dyes we have room for two of. So pick your favorite colors and put them in there and yeah, of course, dyes useful for so many things, dyeing clays, dyeing glass, dyeing leather armor, whatever you're up to is quite likely that you might need some dyes at some point. Another thing your dyes can be used for is dyeing wool. And luckily I've dedicated a chest to it. Again, you can put two of some colors in here and one of the others. And hey, if you build with a lot of these wool blocks, then you might want two shulker boxes. But for me, one is just fine. Now we have concrete the regular form and the concrete powder as well of course you can't store all of that stuff inside one shulker box something to keep in mind here if you know you're not going to build with colors like pink and green or gray but you're going to build with your oranges and your blues then maybe you just want to store only those ones in a shulker box because otherwise you can end up with a lot of shulker boxes and i also think it's a really good idea to have sand and gravel available in these of course you can combine that with the dyes and then you can make any color you want on the go this next one is another builder's chest with exception to one item, the blaze rod. That can be used as fuel, so maybe if you want none of this stuff available, you could put that in your miscellaneous chest. I'd also point out though that the quartz can be made to use comparators if you're a redstoner. And then the rest of these is really just about building. And let's say you like building with nether brick more than you do these other ones. Just adjust the amount you got in here proportionate to what you like to do. Similar to my comments on the clay earlier, we have glass now, so again, if you want to store all the different types, you're going to need two of these because there are lots of different colors and there are panes and there are full blocks. But if you know you're not going to build with these, you don't have to do that. Also, if you've got a die chest, it might just be easier to store tons of glass and then craft the colors that you need as you go. So probably actually preferable just to have one of those. Um, like I said, you can combine that with the dies and that saves you a little bit of space. These next two are definitely optional. We've got ice, which I already included in the miscellaneous, but I would have dedicated an entire box to that in case you like to do stuff with redstone and moving items around through water streams. And then we've got lava, a whole chest full of it. I This really isn't essential, is it? Let's get rid of that one. So that's not everything. There's a couple of items I thought, hey, I've kind of missed these from these chests. An enchantment table could be good. Of course, you've got lapis in your die chest. And then a written book is always good to have to hand if you're out exploring, you find a dungeon, you want to take some notes, you can of course write that in a book and save it. Now inside of my inventory you're also going to see that I've got a whole bunch of other building blocks that I didn't include in any of those chests. If you like building with any of these, probably a good idea to round up some stacks and put them inside of a chest. I've included hay bales as well and also snow and a pumpkin in case you want to make some snowman friends. There's also potions as well. I'd actually recommend dedicating a shulker box to potions. Put in some fire resistance ones, maybe some strength and regeneration and other things you might find useful if you're out adventuring. Definitely a good idea to have a chest dedicated to those. So if you happen to think that I missed something, then leave a comment down below and let me know what it is because I spent a lot of time trying to cover all the angles there. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to know how to put a block on your head like me, I've got a shulker box on it. There's a video for that and I'll put the link to it on the screen and in the description box and all of that good stuff. Anyway, that's it from me this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.